War on Terror is unlike any other war our country has ever fought. It is also unlike any national experience our country has ever known. In many ways, we are in uncharted waters. So we ask ourselves, does our need to have victory over terror require us to use methods of torture that we civilized people everywhere know are considered morally wrong and incorrect? The United States is a nation of law should not allow torture of suspected terrorists under any circumstances. Abu Ghraib is a, was a prison that was used by Saddam to torture and execute people. It's located 25 miles north of Baghdad and is one of the most notorious prisons on earth. This represented everything that Saddam was about. Tragically, it came to represent one of the most one of the largest setbacks and embarrassment to America's war on terror. The Americans took control of the prison early on in the war on terror, and they used it to hold suspected terrorists and criminals. In 2004, an army report released that there was torturing going on and that there was also executions. Photos were released with the report and they shocked the world. This propelled and reaffirmed that the anti-Americanism rallies around the world should still be going on because we were going against everything that we said. Some infamous photos that were released to the public were this one was a hooded de detainee standing on a box with electrical wires attached to his arms. And another one with many detainees stacked up in a pyramid naked with two American soldiers behind them smiling with their thumbs up. When the government found out about this, all the American soldiers who were involved were jailed, but none of the policies were changed, which again reinforces, does America support terror? All the torturing that occurred at Abu Ghraib was done in order to obtain highly valuable and necessary information. Ironically, that highly and necessary valuable information was proven incorrect. Before 9-11, torture was a non-existent part of our lives. It was never brought up in news headlines, on TV, or on the radio. After 9-11, the uh, torturing was questioned, and in 2002, we decided to put it to the test at Guantanamo Bay. Here is Guantanamo Bay, and it holds up to, it held, once held up to 750 detainees, and they, re they referred to these detainees as enemy combatants, which that word forfeited their rights to any part of the Geneva Convention. And they used many acts of torture, one of which was called waterboarding, and that was when they covered a person's face with a cloth or a bag and put water down their throats to make it feel like they were drowning. This sparked an international outrage. And Craig Silgerman wrote, as soon as the Americans began to debate the avail availability of torturing, the nation has seceded its moral high ground that it once occupied, or at least claimed to. And I really like this quote because it really shows that one time we were completely against torture and slowly as the war goes on, we're becoming a part of it. Our nation's history has shown that during previous wars, the U.S. has treated enemy soldiers according to the policies set forth that, on treaties that we have signed. Again, like I said, we are moving farther and farther away against that. The Geneva Convention was something that was created after World War II to prevent something like the Holocaust again. We amended that after World War II, so that never occurred, and U the U.S. has signed all those treaties and said that they would abide them. Uh, article 3 is the article of the convention which talks about the abolition of torture. And Article 3 states, all those who are unable to fight due to any thinkable circumstances are to be treated humanely. Uh, it is prohibited to commit violence to hostages or humiliate and degrade them under any circumstance. It is unlawful to execute anyone without the trial by jury. And committing any act where pain or suffering is used to obtain information is illegal. Obviously, America has broken these provinces by the torturing at Abu Ghraib and the tortures at Guantanamo Bay. These violent acts need to stop now because from the pictures and personal stories, you can tell that they are completely immoral and inhumane. Over the years, America has set an example by taking a stand against torture of prisoners in an effort to gain information or provide punishments for acts of violence against our country and its people. We should continue this tradition not only because it is right, but because it is in our national interest. 
in 2008, Barack Obama and, and Senator McCain said that they would like to shut down Guantanamo Bay and reaffirm its ties with the Geneva Convention. I've kept up with many things in the news that revolved around torture and the war, and I completely agree with them. Uh, using various torture methods at Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo Bay have been used to recruit more terrorists and make it unlikely for, our, for us to win our war against terror.